What is up, everybody? My name is Nathan Dashke, and welcome back to the UFC 4 Featherweight Division. And today we are playing Mersog Beckett. I have no clue who this man is, but I'm going to call him Beckett throughout. And if you can look here, it shows that he is a boxer. So I'm going to try my best today to use a lot of boxing combos and get the knockout in that manner. Mix in the kicks if we have to, and last ditch effort grapple if we need to. Let's get into it. For our first fight as Beckett, we are going against Darren Elkins, and I really don't know much about Darren Elkins either. I'm pretty sure both these dudes are either newer prospects or very old veterans, but most likely they are very old veterans in the UFC, and most of the normal fans would not know who they are. Darren Elkins sounds familiar though, but Let's see what Beckett is made of, and I'm going to try to work this punching and just see how good the striking is. Oh, man, right there. We already caught him with the high kick, and I didn't even mean to throw that high kick. Oh, my God. This guy's got a bad. Boom. Let's see what he does. Okay. Oh, no. You can't just eat those hooks on the inside, but I think we're still good. Boom. We get that body kick. All right. Boom. Another body kick lands. He's getting a little dirty in the pocket, but nothing to worry about. Boom, we rock him with that. All right, let's go. Boom, we chop a leg kick. Get that combo on the inside. Boom, and he gets rocked, guys. We catch him with the uppercut overhand. Honestly, I'm surprised that fight went that quick and easy. That kid is low-key a beast with the fist, man. I cannot lie, dude. I'm surprised. It's either that dude is really bad or... What's a hot man? I forget his first name. But Beckett is real good. You know what I'm saying? But look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. One and out. Next up on Beckett Kills List is Conor McGregor. He's ready to go into a striking match. And you know, Conor McGregor's not the person. I'm not saying he's the greatest boxer, but he's not the person you want to be boxing with. Like, here's what we can say. There's no way in history that Connor would ever beat Floyd Mayweather. But did he do a decent job against Floyd Mayweather? Yes, he did a very good job. Now, what do you need to watch about? <laughs> what I say? Sometimes I, I have dyslexia, but like with words, I just say that in the wrong order. I'll say a word that's similar to it. If you know what I mean. But uh, what we need to worry about is just. The combos, the punching combos. Like, as you can see right there, we already got rocked in the pocket. So we need to stay out of the pocket. But the thing is, is we're a boxer too. So we kind of need to be in the pocket as a place to get our damage off. So we need to work coming in and out. Out when we're defending and when we're attacking. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're moving forwards when we're attacking. Moving backwards when we're defending. And kind of just keeping that pace throughout the whole fight i think we could do really good here i don't think beckett would actually ever win this fight in real life because i just i never heard of him so he obviously is not that amazing but we got our rock with a one two boom let's get the hooks going boom there we go oh man connie what's the dealio all right let's back up maybe get a few hits in before we do all right i'm gonna get away at your body if you want to do this buddy all right come on Let's back up. Boom. All right, he's, he's eating some hits now. He's definitely taking more damage than me. He got a little early rock, but I'm not too worried about it. So what we can do here. Gink. Boom, there we go. All right, boom, boom. Just kind of working the, the boxing combo more, you know? If you would consider one, two, and a three, four combo. I don't even think it would be a three, four. Yeah, double hook would be three, four. Okay, boom. All right. He's trying to gank that leg kick after we finish our combo. So, like, we're just going to watch for it a little. Boom. Get a body shot in there. Very nice. I think we're just slowly picking this man apart. He doesn't know what to do. He's kind of a little scared. So, he's just, he's just throwing some random stuff out. Come on, buddy. Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. That was good. Boom. There we go. Boom. Get him with the punches. Almost beautiful, almost beautiful. I'm gonna get up. I think I'm gonna get up. I don't have to. I'm gonna just let him push me up. Okay, we're doing really good right here. We caught him with that high kick again. He eats it, he eats it, we go. Boom, boom. 
blocks that one, which is good on his end. We're gonna go for the body. Boom. And we're just eating away at his body. There we go. We catch him going down. Oh man. We go for a body hook and then catch him with a normal uppercut on the way down. Let's get a replay of this. Conor McGregor falls to Beckett. Beckett's a key at least. Let's see what we got here. Boom, he nailed the body and then he ducks down. And we just hit him and he ducks down. Boom. Boom! And he just eats it. Two and all. Two and oh. And they've all been boxing knockouts. Just like Beckett, Beckett is labeled. Boxer. For our third fight, we are going to be going up against a Cub Swanson. And it's not too often that you actually see Cub Swanson, especially in the featherweight division, because there's a lot of characters that are better than Cub Swanson. But Beckett, I don't know. We're on a roll right now. 2-0 and oh with two beautiful knockouts in the boxing category, which is what Beckett's specialty is. So we're going to see if we can outbox this Cub Swanson. And just, just, just keep... Keep the rhythm that we've been using the whole match. There we go. Two hooks on the inside. Boom. Just get that body going. The one thing I don't like about Beckett is I do not think he has knees. I really don't think he, he can throw a knee, which sucks. But he can throw a push kick, so you can kind of throw a knee. You can get around it by throwing a push kick really close and then turn into a knee. Okay, I can already tell this right here is going to be a fire fight right here. This Cup Swanson, it's not that he's fighting really good, but he's fighting patiently like I'm liking. Like, this has been a very technical match so far. And anytime it's technical, it gets a little spooky. You know? There we go. We're landing that 1-2 on the inside. That 1-2 is definitely doing us some damage. And we keep landing that body shot on the left. As long as we keep that body shot going... We keep landing that one too. I think we're gonna be good. Boom! There we go. We hit him with that. Just gets out of the way of that. Boom! Peel that. Peel that. Peel that. Peel that. Bye. Boom! Okay. Boom! I want to just get him worried about a takedown a little because I don't know what to do. All right, he's gonna block that. He's gonna separate. I think I'm gonna try to throw it again. I just want to get him off guard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use that takedown to our advantage later. He's a little more hesitant about everything now. But he's also a little bit more aggressive. And this has got five rounds. So this could go. This could go ages. But right now he's got me rocked. Okay. Okay, buddy. What's the dealio? What's the dealio? Right? But I'm going to try to throw another one just for fun. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Boom, boom. Huh? You thought I was going to throw one. Shink. Oh no, dude. Come on, come on. Here's our chance. Boom, there we go. Locks that one. How about one more? What are you going to do? What would you do? What, you, what would you do? What if I threw another one? What if I just threw another one? <laughs> then what if I ganked the head kick? But I threw another one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting to throw back with one. All right, let's, let's be calm here. Boom. Just need to keep our defense up. Oh, no. He's got us rocked on our body. Oh, no. Okay, we need to be very careful here. Oh, this is getting deadly, man. This is getting deadly. Okay, we blocked that. That was good. All right. Oh, no. He's got a stock. Oh, dude, we fall on the body shot. No. Oh, that's our first. Oh, it's Beckett, but it's only 2 and one Isn't too bad. We're just going to have to make up for it in this next match. I'm a little sad about that last loss, but hey, we're going up against Yair Rodriguez, which is always a fun fight. Whoever plays Yair Rodriguez, you guys are awesome because, you know, I play Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, Yair Rodriguez. God, that's a little hard to say, but uh, we need a comeback because we, we just lost our match against Cup Swanson, and that's not, not the best look for us. All right, this dude is like spamming flying knees. We just, oh man, we just can't let one of those flying knees hit us because he's spamming them and he's obviously sees an opening with it. But I see it as you're gonna leave your body open, and every time you go down, I'm gonna take a hit at your body. Boom, there we go, we hit him there. Okay, that was an easy rock. Boom, all right, boom, boom. We nail his body. He's, he's injured, he's injured. 
go to the head, boom, boom. Oh man, oh man, dude. This year Rodriguez is falling to the pressure. We get the hip toss, we get the hip toss. I'm gonna let you up, I'm gonna let you up, I'm gonna let you up. Get the head kick, boom, oh no. See, that's that knee, that's that knee I'm talking about. We have to watch out for it. It's always there. Okay, okay. This dude has wasted all the stamina, man. He's literally done. You're literally done. You can't do anything. You wasted all your stamina, bro. Oh, man. That was an easy third dub. That is three and one right now. Not too bad. I'm actually surprised that went as smooth as it did. Let's keep it going. For our fifth match, it looks like we are going to be going against no other than a deadly boxer known by the name of Calvin Cater. Now, the one thing we're going to have to watch out for Calvin Cater, like always, is we are going to have to watch out for the boxing. Man has some heavy hands, and he, his kicks are underrated. Like, if you've actually watched him fight against, like, when he fought against Giga, he actually had some pretty, pretty nice kicks. I was, I was genuinely impressed. Blew me away. All right, let's see what we can do here. We're not starting off bad, but I don't like that we're each throwing a lot of strikes because that means this is going to be a very striking, intensive match. And it did, oh man. Striking for like 15 minutes straight is insane, man. Especially if it lasts the whole 15 minutes. Okay, we had an uppercut on the inside. We need to watch out for that. Okay, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Just. Holy crap, man, we're getting boxed up. Okay. Oh my god. Calvin, what, what are you up to, man? Just stop. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't not have to be this way. Boom, boom. There we go. We caught him at that. That's very good. He's eating away at our body a little. It just got me worried. We lost our uh, third match by body shots. So we need to always watch out for body shots. That is one of my biggest weaknesses. Body shots work great against me. If you know how to use them properly. Okay. We're landing off some combos. There we go. We rock in. That's what I'm talking about. It's not all it's not all Calvin. It's not all Calvin. Boom. Boom. Alright. Alright. We're starting to read. We're starting to read his slipping. He likes to go left, right, down, or he'll go down, left, right, up, back. You know what I'm saying? So we just need to read that. Oh no. Oh no. That was an early hook, man. That was an early hook. Okay, we need to be Yes, there we go, we caught him. We caught him slipping. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh no, dude, let him pass right back. Okay. Okay, let's stay calm. Let's stay calm. Boom. Boom. There we go. We caught him again. Boom. Oh my god, dude. He just barely blocked that dude. That was almost the knockout. Okay, we got that leg kick. He throws one back. Staying calm. This has been even so far. We rocked him again. We hit him again. Boom, there we go. That's a double shot. That's a double shot. All right, he's going to go there. Hits me in the body. Boom, we nail his leg. Boom, we nail his leg again. We go for the head. Boom, he blocks that. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude, he hit us. He hit us. Okay, okay, okay. Stay gone. Stay gone. All right, I don't like this, man. Ooh, there we go. We hit him. We hit him. We rock him. We're going to get some ground and pound in, maybe. Boom, boom, boom. Just love times. But hey, man, if it works, it works. All right, let's get some ground and pound in. Boom. All right. He's going to push back. All right. Let's be patient here. This has been back and forth this whole match. Oh, Calvin Cater, why do you always give me issues, man? Oh, that makes us... I don't know. I don't remember. Last but not least, for the first time in this series, we are going to be taking on no other than the legendary Giga Chikarasuke. And you know what we need to watch out for when reversing Giga, and that is the Giga Kick. You know why it's called the Giga Kick? Because Giga is the one that does it, and that's why you gotta watch out for it. But we just lost our last match. We're at 3-2 and two right now, so I'd like to get a last, last win under our belt here as Beckett, because he's definitely... Definitely an underrated fighter. Not a lot of people know about this man. I think we should start putting some respect on his name. He's been pretty, pretty god to so far. Boom. There you go. We're getting a little, little, little crazy in the striking box. The area of space in which we box was getting a little crazy for a bit. But as long as we just keep the pressure on him, 
I think we're gonna be good. We definitely have been able to land a lot of our body moves so far. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Boom. Boom. Okay. He throws that kick. Block. There we go. Block that. That body kick on the inside. Boom. Got that hook. Boom. There we go. This is the first start. This is the start of it all. Okay. He keeps catching that kick. There we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. We catch him with the double uppercuts. He falls earlier than I thought he was. Wow. Let's take a replay. Let's take a look at this replay really quick. And see what Beckett's dirty work looks like. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Catch him going down. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. In the next episode, we're playing Alex Caceres. And that will be very interesting. So I will see you guys in the next.